What is going on guys? DBG here and in this video we are going to be showcasing the new Michael Carter Williams card in NBA 2K21 my team. So lads, this guy is expensive. So, for the fact that I'm overspending, I'm gonna lose major MT on this. I'm overspending and if you guys know me, in life, not just in 2K, in life, there is nothing I hate doing than overspending on something. So, um, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. We are trying to hit 225,000 by the end of the week. Right now, we are about 800 off. So, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. But, oh my god. Am I really spending 25k on an amethyst? I'm really spending 25k on an amethyst, aren't I? What have I, what have I done? What is happening to me? What is happening to me? I've just spent 24.9k on a freaking amethyst card. He better be good. He better be good. That's all I'm gonna say. The guy better be good. So, he's not gonna be our like, bang game play of the day. That's gonna be either Jason Kidd or Houston. Whichever one am I get first. So we're gonna be looking over MCW in TTO. So, let me have a look right here. So Michael Carter Williams. Hot zones, three spots outside of three. He is a weird player build, can't lie. The release. Okay, that's Eddie Jones release. That's Eddie Jones base, that's not bad at all. Like, that's not a bad release at all. So if he's, he's gonna be able to hit shots, I guess. Okay, pro six behind the back, which is very, very bad for this gen. Okay, animations, pretty good. Pretty good, can't lie. Um, dunking seems pretty nice. Okay, overall he seems pretty good. And um, I just realized I forgot to go over his stats. Let's go over them right now. Thankfully, we are on next gen. So it is about five, six seconds uh, to load, which is one great thing about this game. But Michael Carter Williams has got one Hall of Fame badge, which is Hall of Fame Interceptor. Are you, it's one of the best Hall of Fame badges you can have, especially for a point, a defensive point guard. He's got gold catch and shoot, gold difficult shots, gold fearless finisher, gold acrobat, gold teardropper, gold heat seeker, gold break starter, gold dimer. I don't need to keep calling them all gold. You guys can clearly see every badge he has is gold apart from Interceptor. But he's got clamps, intimidator, hot shot. The one badge he, quick first step, the one badge he does not have, unpluckable as well as good, is range. And he can't get range either. Other than that though, like maybe Deadeye, but it doesn't really matter that much. Showtime, I guess, he doesn't have, is a decent-ish badge for him. But he's got a great driving layup, a really okay mid-range and three ball. He's got a good enough driving dunk of 80. He's 86 ball handling, fantastic passing stats, 92 steel, 90 perimeter defense. With him being 6-6 is huge for that point guard position. Good enough speed to ball acceleration and 92 lateral quickness. A card that I would compare him to is a very, very cheap point guard. But I reckon MCW will probably go down to a similar price to Alonzo. Like, I, actually, no, he won't go down to 5k. I reckon he'll drop below 10k at some stage. I think right now it's just because there's initial hype at MCW and the card's only been out an hour and 12 minutes. That's the only reason he's so expensive. But for me, he's like a better version of Alonzo. Anyone trying to argue Alonzo's better, it, you're just crazy. Like, badges-wise, um, MCW is better. MCW is a better shooter because his release is way better. Yes, he's a slightly worse dunker. Perimeter defense is basically the exact same. This guy's got a shoe on him, so I think it, it's slightly better for MCW. MCW has a much better block, and the speed is basically exact same. These cards are almost identical. And tendencies, let's actually have a look at the tendencies, because that is an important thing for a defensive player. 75 almost steal to 90. 90 for Alonso does help, but in my opinion, he is just he's just that better version of Alonso Ball. So let's just check out his dunks, see if he has any Showtime ones. So let's have a look here. Um... That is show. That's a Showtime dunk, isn't it? Am I wrong in saying that? That that, that dunk animation right there is a Showtime dunk animation. That it, it definitely is, isn't it? Okay, he, his player model looks kind of weird. What does he look? What does he actually look like? Again, have we we haven't really seen much of MCW over the last few years? Oh no, that looks good. That looks good. There are a few players where you're like kind of iffy. On how they look. Yeah, MCW. Definitely, definitely looks good. In game. Although from behind, the player model does not seem great. Either way though, he's going to be nice. Got some good hot zones. Outside the three in important positions for a point guard. 
will be a solid catch and shoot player because he's got Eddie Jones base. Obviously, dunking is going to be pretty good. Pro 6 behind the back um, is really, really good on current gen. So it's going to help for that. And let's actually just try out the spin dunk. See, can he do the OP spin dunk in this game? And he just did a spin lamp. Okay. Maybe he's not going to be great for spin dunking. Either way, though, got to be a good card. So anyway, now it's green on three. And it's a bye release. Come on. That's another bye release. Now let's get on to the game. This card's looking like he could be a good, good card. I reckon his, pri his price is ridiculous, by the way. Like, the fact that he is 700 and... Not 700. I have 700k. The fact he's 25k is a little bit ridiculous. Can't lie. But I mean... If he drops to like the 10k, he could be in that conversation with Chris Paul for the second best budget point guard in the game. Unless, of course, you want to get the free Fred Van Vliet card. And that Fred Van Vliet card, I can't can't really argue that he's not number one, to be completely honest. Fred Van Vliet, ridiculously, ridiculously good. So, let's have a look here. Let's see who we are coming up against. We are playing Isaiah Thomas, Sven Nader, and Kevin Durant. I'm right, that's Sven Nader, isn't it? No, it's Byron. Oh, Byron Beck. Does his player build the exact same as Sven Nader? That should have been. How can you not get that steal with half interceptor? Spin dunk on him. Literally, just spin dunk, spin layup on Isaiah Thomas. The guy's five foot nine. Or just post game. We're, we're going 2k20 on him. We're going full on 2k20 on him. He's going to have to double. He's going to have to double down. Leave him wide open there for three. Completely missed time release and hit the white. Let's go. Big, big shot right there by Michael Carter Williams. But he's going to have to have a tough time on defense. It's not easy guarding this Isaiah Thomas, especially on this gen. Good steal, MCW. A tough interceptor for you. Tough interceptor. Isaiah Thomas is already cold. Okay, can I back him down? Foul. Foul animation. Let's go. It's literally... That's all I'm going to try to do. I, I want to see what he can do in the post. Although his post game isn't great. Especially if we're looking at the next gen. I just want to see what he can do in the post. Can he shoot a hook from there? And one. <sighs> Unlucky. Okay, this is very boring. This is very... This is boring me and I'm playing the game. I'm guessing this tactic is probably boring you, the viewer, a lot more than it's boring me. Dunk that. Or make the tough layup over to Hoff Intimidator Isaiah Thomas. Like, as much of a threat as Isaiah Thomas is on offense, which he is, you can't deny it. He's a massive threat in the offensive end. He's nothing on defense. What version of Kevin Durant is that? That's heat check, is it? What version of Kevin Durant is that? Boost him into the middle. Spin from there. Good defense. Okay, that's what the Intimidator does. Oh, shoot that. It's green. No, he blew it. And it went in. All right. Five up. We got to actually go and get a score here. We got to get a score here. Should not have taken that um, hop step. Oh, my God. That pass is so hard to throw in this gen. You run out of bounds. Anytime you try to go baseline in this game, you run out of bounds pretty much. Dive. Good hand. This is an elite defense team. Good board. Give me that green. Come on. Come on. Big shot. Let's go. That release is good. That release is good. That's the Eddie Jones, Jason Richardson release. With a very nice upper. Oh, it's terrible. That's my fault. I deserved to concede a three point. Um, I deserved to concede there. I didn't on ball a snatchback. You don't on ball a snatchback in this game. You deserve to concede. And he baited the lane. And PG got caught out there. Dunk. Nothing we can do. We got caught. In, we, well, well, we didn't get caught. We just played quite bad defense initially. And nothing we can do to stop that shot when you play initial bad defense. All right. He's a passer. So the lob's on. The lob's on. Why would you stop going to the basket throw, Bailey? You literally had a what? You, I don't get it. I just don't get it. You were wide open. Like, Thurl, you were wide open. 
Oh, it's a shot. Greeny. Green dot. Let's go. But, like, I just don't get it why Thurl didn't roll to the basket. At least MCW hit a big three right there. Tonight. Ah, oh, we played that line horribly. Good contest in the end with Paul George. And, of course, we got camera tur turn bumped. Nothing we can do. Like, literally nothing we can do there. I didn't press any buttons. You get bumped on a camera turn. Please. Please, there. I'll catch that. There we go. He actually rolled to the basket that time. Good things happen when players roll. Good things happen when players roll. Oh, that's, that's a bail. That's good defense. Good job bringing Thurl there to contest a shot. Oh, hit MCW. Nope, don't shoot that. That's dumb. That is just dumb by me. His player build is massive, by the way. Like, he's got a really wide player build for point guard. This guy's really nice. Bad, bad defense. Bad rebounding. Oh, just please shoot the ball quickly. This is the most boring game of TTO ever. We've been playing for the best part of five minutes since 13-11. We have him on our back. Please dunk it, or at least make a tough layup. Nope, we missed. This game's going to go on forever. This game is actually going to go on forever. Oh my god, why would you throw that? We're there. He had a 40 white. All right, I'll, I'll take that. I got to live with it. Okay, just throw lobs from now on, I guess. Get KD out of there. Burn him to the basket. Please go for the dunk. And he swatted off the board by Kevin Durant. Okay, dunking is not the strong point of this card. And he hits the leaner. Good chat. Dunking is definitely not the strong point. Going to the basket, he's been, uh, he's been stopped a few times. Please dunk it. Please dunk it. As I say that, he doesn't get the contact over uh, Byron Beck. Okay, let's go. Let's win this. What am I doing? That's pathetic defense by me. That is pathetic defense right there. Okay, he's got half clamps. I can't run through him. Can't run around him, though. Good job throwing the lob. That's what he does best. That's what he does best. Facilitate. Okay, literally just denied Kevin Durant. No way, not the white. Get that board, Thurl! Your defense, your defense. Big defense, MCW. You got him with help. You got him with help. That's a steal! Oh, that's my steal, 2K! That's my steal! Come on, 2K! Come on, 2K! That's my steal. You know as well. You're kidding me. No way did he just green that. No way did he just green that on one jumper. Alright, I'm fine losing to that. I'm fine losing to that, BS. Like, it's a game of TTO. But, uh, yeah, in the end, like, he shot really well from three. He actually shot really well. And his player build is way wider than it should be. Which is a good, good sign for defense. It is definitely a good sign for defense. Like, if you're 6'7", with a big player build, it's gonna be tough. Standard heat check pack. Um, I think that's only, that's only a, not even a guaranteed heat check player, is it? Not too bad losing on that anyway. But uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, he definitely is a lot, gonna be a nice defensive player. It's a token, I'll take it. Um, he's gonna be a really, really nice defensive player. So, when we're talking about this guy right here, is he in the conversation with Fultz? I'm going to say no. I think Fultz is a significantly better player than um, MCW. But if he drops to around 10k MT, a legitimate argument could be made that if you if you pair him with like a Rudy Fernandez, or even if you're on the budget end, if you pair him with or any good Rubies, or even a, um, a Nick Anderson, that he might be better than like a Chris Paul. However, one thing I am going to say is, is that you need one of your point guard or two guard to have range extender. 
you're going to really struggle if both of them don't have that badge. And there's a lot more. There's CP3, who's an elite range extender point guard for cheap, whereas there aren't that many elite range extender two guards for cheap. But you can get a lot of really good defense two guards. Uh, you can get a Bruce Bowen that gives you Michael Carter Williams defense. Although Mike Carter Williams does a quick first step and go to the basket quite well. So for me, if you're choi if you, it's a choice and you're on an extreme budget between like a Michael Carter Williams, Nick Anderson combo, or a Bruce Bowen, Chris Paul combo, considering it's a lot cheaper to go for the latter, um, I probably would stick with that. I think he's not definitely not, even if he drops to 10K, which he probably will, he's still not going to be a Markel Fultz. But I do believe he is definitely a, I mean, he's definitely a usable card and he's definitely a really, really good card in game. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.